Chuck Profits. Good morning. Good morning. What is cracking in Chuck Profits' world? Well, we're just here partying. It's 9 a.m. at K-Fog, <laughs> and I'm here with uh, Keith, Alex, and Anthony, my string section. Have we met before? <laughs> Have we ever met before? No, we just met, yeah. and uh, we're looking forward to playing. And this Sunday night, you're doing your entire latest album, Temple Beautiful, at the Great American Music Hall, complete with string section. Great idea. What made you uh, decide to put together a show with a string section? Well, initially, we were fans fantasizing about maybe uh, doing a musical because they're all the rage and I love musicals but um, we found out you know that that's just a good way to get an ulcer there's money <laughs> and there's like you know what I mean I, yeah. it takes it takes a lot of it takes some real doing but we thought well we'll settle for an octet which is an eight-piece string section so okay. that's what we're gonna do we're gonna play the album on Sunday night at the Great American with an octet and the band and uh, hopefully uh, get through it and have a good time. Is that what they call a, f a front to back? Is that what it's called? Like, do you go in order of the album as well? Yeah, we're going to do it in sequence. Okay. Yeah, it's like a, you know, like a novel or something. You know, you don't just pull chapters out. You sure. Know, you know, <laughs> sit down and... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's a good analogy. <laughs> Pretentious one, yeah. <laughs> okay, Conrad, I'm sorry. You good? You done? Rebecca, she was here. Rebecca, now she gone. Rebecca's got a nasty streak seven miles long. Rebecca said, don't ask me why. You wouldn't understand. My mother came from Omaha, my father Vietnam. Put your hands together, pull your hands apart. I said, oh, play that song again, oh, play that song again, oh, I could hear it all night long. It's a city full of animals, a city full of thieves, a city full of lovers trying hard to make believe. Put your hands together, pull your hands apart. I said, oh, play that song again. Oh, play that song again. Oh, I could hear it all night long. When the shots rang out and two men died, you took off your mask just to see me cry. <laughs> did I dream you up or did you dream me? Is there any place else you would rather be?
Welcome to the show, everybody. I'd written a bunch of songs with my friend Clip Shoots, and, and um, we didn't really know what we were doing. We were just kind of writing songs, and we had some of the songs like White Knight, and uh, I felt like Jesus, maybe, but uh, maybe a small handful. And that's when I just sort of stood back and squinted and said, you know, this could be a San Francisco record, and that, that could be a lot of fun. You know, many, many, many years ago, I borrowed my mother's Toyota. I didn't tell her where I was going. And me and some friends of mine, we climbed into that thing and we drove out to a place on 1839 Gary Street called the Temple Beautiful. And uh, we saw a bunch of bands there that night. We saw a band called the Mentors. Anybody remember the Mentors? A hideous band. They wore like clan outfits or something. I, I, didn't, I didn't really like it. Uh, Three or four other bands, we saw Black Randy and the Metro Squad that night. And at about uh, three o'clock in the morning, a band came on the stage called the Flamin' Groovies. And uh, I stood right there and I looked at the guitar player and, and he looked right back at me. And I think, you know, we shared a moment there and how was I to know that just a young boy with a dream like me would Ten years later, be over at that guy's house doing coke, you know. <laughs> We're gonna bring out Roy Loney now from the Flamin' Groovies. I think it's only appropriate. I know he looks like a French movie star, but he's actually the original singer of the Flamin' Groovies. My neighbor, Roy Loney. Give me a beat. Yeah. 
This goes out to the memory of our old friend Louis Beeson, who used to work here. We miss you, Louis. They'll cast you out of marble. They'll cast you out of bronze. They'll make a broken heart look good as new. Some of them are permanent. Some have come and gone, some are just too delicate to move. The museum, in the museum of broken hearts, the museum, the museum of broken hearts. There's a caveman, a soccer mom, a prison guard, a whore, a virgin bride on her wedding day. Anyone who's lost in love is welcome at the door. Nobody is ever turned away from the museum. The Museum of Broken Hearts The Museum The Museum of Broken Hearts
you get a little lonely, you'll always find a crowd. There's people lined up halfway down the street. The Queen of Hearts is crying, even though she's made of stone. The curator leans down to wash her feet in the museum. The Museum of Broken Hearts The Museum In the Museum of Broken Hearts My friend Clip Shoots and I, we spent about a year uh, writing this record, hanging out in my um, office, which is actually just an overpriced shoebox uh, south of Market. And uh, we wrote a lot of songs there. And, uh, you know, one of the things that made it kind of fun was that we didn't have any Wi Fi access there. And uh, therefore, we didn't have any Google or Wikipedia. So, needless to say, we, we sort of leaned on the more a mythical version of events. And uh, I think it's pretty obvious that a fact checker wasn't in our budget either. So. But uh, <laughs> we realized at a certain point that um, we had a lot of great villains, but uh, we really needed a hero. Any great myth needs a hero. So we didn't know what to do. We looked down at our feet, and there were a lot of crumpled pieces of paper and some lunch menus. And we decided to take a walk, and we found ourselves down by the ballpark beneath the statue. Looking up at the great Willie Mays, everybody. That's a no-brainer. So we thought we'd put him together in a song with a bunch of characters that he probably wouldn't want to be caught dead with in real life. Feel free to sing along. This one's called Willie Mays is up at bat. I hear the church bells ring. Willie Mays is a bit bad I hear the crowd go wild All it did was touch his hat Meanwhile, Carol Dota stood up and said I won't be ignored She showed him everything she had Then she showed him all a little more Jim Jones in his temple on Gary Street, right next to young Bill Graham. Jim, he walked right up to Bill, clicked his heels, said, Now I think you know who I am. Meanwhile, Bugs and Daffy Duck were hitching up the coast to Pismo Beach. While over in the Tonkin Gulf, the Navy took a hit, or so it seemed. Let's go, come on. It's three on and two out under the lights. Nobody knows who will make it home tonight. She looked so faded in the twilight Down where the breakers meet the sand Now 
somebody said to laugh and sound Hey, laugh and sound, just what you're laughing at She said I'm only laughing at myself Keep it down, when is up with that? something else to be against And the only thing we know for sure is will he always swing for the fence Going on a musical journey with Chuck is kind of like going on a fishing trip with Bukowski. You're not sure if it's going to end up in tears and recriminations or if it's going to end up in glory, but you know it's going to end up somewhere. He called me and said, hey, I want to do a uh, an evening truck prophet with strings, will you help me? And, and at first I had to kind of stop and think, how can these rock and roll songs do that? But he was right. Brad was just into it, you know? He slept on the control room floor in the studio, and uh, he said all he needed was a bicycle and a candle. So a candle so he'd have some reading light, and a bicycle so he could get around and get something to eat. So we got together, and my original intention was that, you know, I would kind of, you know, hover over him a little bit and say like, well, you could do this, or, you know, I like that riff. And, and then, you know, he, he worked up a couple songs and I realized pretty quick that, I mean, the best thing I could be was a cheerleader, really. <laughs> I, just, I was like, it's great, you know. It all sounds great. In Chuck's world, there's kind of a, a planned chaos. He wants there to be just enough things planned and just enough things not planned that there's gonna be moments that happen. All right, here's a song for a couple San Francisco legends. Couple guys who ran a nice family establishment right here next door, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> they fought for your right to party. They're gone, but we're still here. This goes out to the Mitchell brothers. <laughs> if Cain and Abel had gone into the strip club business, it would have been those two guys. 
Hunter S. Thompson was once the night manager. He referred to it as the Carnegie Hall of all strip clubs. Personally, I've never been in there, but uh, how can I be certain? I don't know. <laughs> I hear it's really great. This one's called the left hand and the right hand. left hand and the right hand shed a cigarette they were seen together everywhere everywhere they went and when you passed them on the street they always took the time to wave hello they stood up for each other the way true brothers do and when the left hand lost the thumb, the right cut his off too. Oh, but no one could harmonize the way those brothers did. No, no. Don't tell me you don't want my love. Don't tell me you don't need my love. Don't tell me you don't want my love. Don't tell me you don't need my love. hand and the right hand they grew apart one day it was separate checks the next day bodyguards and the years flew by like birds of prey not a single word between those two oh tell me you don't want my love don't tell me you don't need my love don't tell me you don't want my Dedicate this to my partner in crime, Stephanie Finch, over here, everybody. We used to play a place on 16th Street called the Albion. It was a fire trap. It held about 15 people. And when we played there, we were just, we just thought it was the greatest thing ever, didn't we? <laughs> this one's called I Felt Like Jesus. On 16th Street, in the heart of the heart of the city. In the back room of a bar called the Elbion. I could make a Princeton C. 
sing like a house on fire for anyone. And I smell danger every time that you walk by. Felt like Jesus when you look me in the eye. You brought me trouble, so I brought you some trouble too. Tied a rag around your head Said meat is murder I thought about it for a while I said love is pain And you said I can't give you Anything that you want for me. Now what's my name? And I smell danger time that you walked by, I felt like Jesus, when you looked me in the eye, you brought me trouble, so I brought you some trouble too, well I saw a dragon once crawling out of the Broadway Tunnel, I picked my camera up and I put my camera down when the last beat nick on earth tap me on the shoulder i turn around and i smell danger every time that you walk by i felt like jesus when you look me in the eye you brought me trouble so i brought you some I said, Lang, 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 Yesterday was the 50th anniversary of the greatest American mystery of all time. Today's the anniversary of a, the second greatest mystery of all time, and this one only happened a couple blocks from here. This one's called Who Shot John? Say I shot Montgomery, shot him in the chest. It never went to trial. Montgomery confessed. They say possession is still nine tenths of the law. Well, what possessed you to ask me who shot John? Eddie got probation, went out and robbed the bank. While out at the end of Jackson, Fatty walked the plane. can hear him laughing still on the seventh floor. Well, Eddie wrote me a letter and asked me who shot John. Eddie dropped a kite from prison, told me who shot John. I went out last Sunday. I ran into Searle. And he said, I seen your friend Johnny Out running with your girl They were in the back seat So I climbed into the front And in all of the commotion 
tell me who shot John. There wasn't anybody there to witness who shot John. seen her around They say I shot my baby They say I shot her down She was here for a little while But now my baby She's gone And they've yet to find a body Well, who shot John? Well, there's some mistakes I don't make. Who shot John? Well, the truth is out there somewhere. Who shot John? I'm gonna start a rumor that you shot John. a few records and having written a few songs, the challenge is to find new ways to do the same stuff. You gotta figure ways to stay interested in what you're doing. We thought about repackaging the record, so at a certain point we thought, well maybe we'll reimagine it with a string section and just get the rock and roll guitars down and bring the strings up and you know, people will be able to hear the songs in a different, in a different way. Well, I dreamed I saw him 
once on television I thought he'd melt the camera with his eyes When they asked him why he wore a mask in public He said this is my face and it covers my disguise He came from so far away He couldn't tell a cradle from a coffin Never even owned a television And the children, they ran up to him, and he held them. He came from so far away. Introduce you one time to Stephanie Finch. This one's called Little Boy, Little Girl. Little girl, little girl, life's no fairy tale. Doctors get diseases and criminals make bail. Little girl. Little girl, little girl Little boy, little boy Tell me something I don't know What makes a lamb a Tiffany? What makes the flower grow? Little boy, little boy Let's go!
Is the good emperor here somewhere? Is the emperor here tonight in the balcony? Shine a light, yeah! <laughs> Just seemed like the right thing to do. <laughs> Every set of keys is an original. Every silver lining is a curse. Anyone who'd ever turn their back on me always ends up facing something worse something worse some kind of nightmare or some kind of curse Sally Rogers did a little dance for me. It warmed me up and down my crooked spine. Miss Sally Rogers, yes, she'll dance for anyone. She'll be yours as easily as mine. Should be mine. Miss Sally Rogers never will be mine. So I said, run around, run around, run around, run around, run around, sound. Run around, 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 sound. It was snowing down on Market Street. This morning there's three bodies in the cold. All the love you're saving for a rainy day won't be enough to save your wretched soul. Save your soul Won't be enough To save your wretched soul Save your soul Twenty years ago, I saw the president. He rode a silver horse into the crowd. A hundred years ago, they might have made him king. Without him, brother, where would we be now? It's funny, I mean, songs are songs. I mean, I'm not doing anything different. I mean, you can just play a song on an acoustic guitar and it's all there. 
uh, and when you arrange it with the rock and roll band, you know, you get the two guitar, bass, drums thing going on. That's my, you know, that's, that's, that's where I live, you know. It was fun to reimagine it with strings. Something that may have been a guitar riff on the record, maybe he would give it a viola or something, but a lot of, this, a lot of the riffs and, and the guitar, the figures and the, the things, they sort of asserted themselves, you know. It's like, oh, where's that? Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Let's give that to the cellos, you know. What time is it, you guys? Oh, just a little after 10 o'clock. I know it's a Sunday night, but it seems a little too early to go home. That would be a shame.
I want to send this next song out to my mom. My mother's everywhere. This is called No Other Love. No other love Mama, I'm flying No other love Mama, I'm flying Well, I can go I can go in can take me there oh no 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 other love mama I'm flying no other love I'm flying Well, I can go I can go anywhere And no other love Can take me there Oh, no, no Rebecca got a nasty streak seven miles 